Welcome to today's live. We've got a big announcement. Uh, our Tawny Al straw polls come in and the names for the male and female Tawny Al up at Ashwood. We've got Ozzy as the male and we've got Bonnie as the female. So well done for everyone that's voted and if it's uh, your name you've got there, well done. And we had over 1,400 uh, people vote in, round about that figure. So that's absolutely fabulous. So uh, thanks for your help getting the names. And today we're going to be talking about a young stoat that we've had handed in and uh, he's just over here. So we've had this little male stoat kit now for just over a week and uh, he's doing really well. And I can see his grown is more than a handful, uh, but this is one of the last times I'll be handling him today. He's doing so well, he needs to start getting more stoat-like and uh, less connected to me. But look at him, he's doing brilliantly. So I'm just going to give him a so I'm just going to give him a quick weigh in and see how he's done over the last week. I can see he's grown, uh, but it's always good to know how uh, how much he's been growing. So I'm just going to pop him in there if he'll go. Yeah, so he's put on about uh, almost 40 grams in the last week, which is brilliant. Uh, but yeah, it just goes to show how well he's doing. His eyes are fully open and he's much more much more alert now so he'll uh, be just over seven weeks old at this stage so now he's getting more mobile we're going to put him in a larger enclosure so he's going to go in here for the next week or so see how he goes and he's got a whole load of new things to explore in here so we'll put in some of his old bedding to make him feel at home So now he's in here, he's exploring straight away. I've put his blanket in there, which is really important. So he's got his scent uh, and his little uh, fluffy case that he sleeps in. Uh, so he's gone straight into his blanket and he's curled up and feels quite at home there. But it just gives him a bit more space to explore. So that's great. There we go, I think he's gonna be happy in there. So I'm gonna take some questions now. So the first question comes from Emily. She's asking, uh, saying, he's so cute, does he have a name yet? <laughs> no, he doesn't have a name yet. Uh, perhaps we should uh, start a straw poll and uh, get a name for him because he's a, he's a great little guy, very cute. So we'll take suggestions and we'll yep. see what we can do. Yep. So Dawn asks, uh, normally how long would baby stoats stay in the nest? Uh, until about right now, so about seven, eight weeks old. They start venturing out uh, with the uh, mother uh, so the worrying thing with him, he'd be part of a litter of uh, sort of eight uh, or nine kits, maybe seven, round about that number. So he's obviously going to be a bit lonely. He's got some cuddly toys in there to play with. Um, yeah, but hopefully, well not hopefully, uh, another stoke gets lost, but we may get another stoke handed in that he can uh, have as a mate. That covers Jenny Camerford's question, which yeah. is, are you hoping to have a second stoke as the companion for this one? <laughs> Yeah, you never hope uh, to have, uh, you know, wild animals hand handed in, but it literally is the making of these that they then have someone to play with, practicing all of the uh, hunting maneuvers that they need to do to survive in the wild. You know, they, 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 you know they're in a big litter and they need, they need companionship and uh, stimulation, very intelligent little animals. So ideally, another rare uh, stout uh, would be good. Carol Gilson asks, how often does he need feeding? Well, he mainly just eats uh, meat that I put in there with him. So I'm putting in mice, stale chicken chicks, uh, obviously all dead. Uh, and then he gets milk. Uh, at the moment, it's only like three, four times a day now. Uh, but when they're tiny, tiny little things, we've had little weasels smaller than my little finger. Uh, and they need uh, about every hour and a half, every two hours. Uh, 24 hours a day, so they're quite intensive. Uh, but he's literally, I, I will not, barely need to touch him now. It's pretty hands off now. He needs to get thinking he's more of a stoat than a human, so. Uh, uh, Anya is asking, she'd like to know how close stoats are to domesticated ferrets. Yeah, so the, it's the same family in the mustelid family. So uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're quite closely related. The, uh, yeah, so they, they are, they're very, very similar, uh, much smaller, different size, uh, completely. Um, 
slightly more athletic build than the average ferret as well because um, they've been domesticated for so many years. And that's all the questions we've got time for. All right, thanks for joining us and uh, we look forward to bringing you more updates on this guy and other, uh, all the other wildlife that we've got here.